get started. First, I'm going to start by priming my eyes right here. And Lord knows I look like some dead carcass of fox drug in. But you know what? That's the power of makeup. Sometimes we all was not gifted with the looks. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to easily just smudge that in. So I'm going to start with the eyeshadow. So I'm going to go in with like this turquoise color here. And I'm going to go in the inner corners of my eye. And I'm not going to do any swiping directions. I'm just going to pack it on. I will have the least fallout as possible. And that's why I actually um, do my eyeshadow first before I put on foundation. Because girl, you know that fallout just gets everywhere. It's like biscuit all over gravy. Like I wish there was an eyeshadow that I could get and I could use tons of colors and never have eyeshadow fallout. By the way, do you guys have any recommendations? Um, maybe you can leave it in the comments that you know a way to keep from fallout happening. Uh, I'm doing a wet brush right now, so uh, if you happen to mention, you know, wet it before you dip it. <clears throat> that's exactly what I'm doing. That's why that color payoff is like that. Colors always turn out much brighter when you wet them. Now, I've heard, like, BH Cosmetics, they have these shadows called baked shadows and full shadows. Uh, supposedly, you can use them wet or dry. I am definitely going to be getting some because I'm actually using BH Cosmetics brushes right now. And you want to check out that video I made about these brushes because these are so badass. But, yeah, I did a review and I also include a coupon I found too to save you guys some money. Because I know when I was ordering online, I wanted to save me some money. Because girl, you know our husbands almost kill us for what we pay for makeup. Most of us don't spend a mortgage payment on makeup within a month or two. So, so now I'm just going to go in with like a softer blue. It's just a lighter, softer blue. See, there's always some fallout. And you just make sure that's blended. Man, these brushes are so freaking awesome. I can't even tell you guys how many brushes I have that do not perform worth a smack. I mean, you got to, like, feel how rough the brushes I was using. All right, so now I'm going to go in with the deep, dark blue. I've mixed a little bit of um, black to go with it. So it's more like a haze blue. You know, put that right in the corner. See how dark that came out? And then I'm just going to continue it on right here. Like I am building a cat look almost. Oh man, that's what's so great about these brushes too. You can kind of just steer the eyeshadow right where you want. I like that. Wow, look at that. And look at how the color payoff is with these brushes too. I don't normally remember any of these colors being this pigmented look at that that's just just beautiful so I'm gonna take this just small blending brush and I'm gonna blend the shit out of the top where it's got a really soft edge now I'm pull it up into my crease as well too right above it because I think I got like slightly hooded eyelids getting at that age for some reason they want to start dropping and you see how smoothly those colors are just combining in together? It's already a hella difference. Crazy how the difference is, right? That's why I start off darker, too. And I'm going to blend down here just to make everything a little bit smokier. Man, these brushes, they just work so, so, so flawlessly. I love how they distribute the color. They're soft. They're easy to use for blending and cleaning up edges that you need. And I don't know, they're just perfect for everything, it seems. I think I said this before, too. I'll include a link where I got them. And um, I think I had a coupon code, too. If that still works, I'll include it down in the description as well for you guys. Because if you need some new brushes, I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed if you buy some BH Cosmetic brushes. I mean, I took the leap, and I'm glad I did. So I'm just going to tone this top down real quick. 
So I've just got this little stuff. I've got it so many years ago from L'Oreal Illuminator. So it's just a super light, like shimmer pink. It comes with a shitty brush that busts out all the time, but I'm just going to throw it on there real quick to lighten up this because I want to tone it down some at the top. I know this looks so unpro. So there you go. That's toned it down quite a bit. Now I know it looks hideous, horrendous right now. We'll wait till it's all did up. Then you'll see the full power of makeup. So now I'm just going to throw on some eye bristles. And I so, so, so need to um, reshape my eyebrows and pluck them. Like, I just ain't had time. I've been working on my new website, my Facebook group, my dang phone messed up for a while. Been working with the holidays and stuff. You know, so life been getting in the way and stuff. So I'm going to conceal under my eye. This is just the Instant Age Rewind. I love this stuff. It's so bomb ass. It's not even funny. Just going to throw that under my eyes. Like so. So I'm just going to blend that in. Oh, and there was a thing I seen. A uh, Facebook post, I think it was. Saying something about baking your makeup. Like what? What? Like it's supposed to be like putting the putting it on your face and then letting it sit for a bit. I don't understand it. I know I can go on YouTube and Google it, but I'm wondering from your perspective, what do you think about that? Oh yeah. And you know what? You can also share it in my makeup group too. It's just a makeup group for girls that are inspired by makeup and stuff and you know, help each other with tips. So I'd love to hear what you think. So I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics foundation. And I'm also going to use a little bit of this um, Age Rewind, the Lifter by Maybelline. So this is usually too dark for me. Um, since it's winter time, I'm going with a super light shade. And I'm just going to mix the two. So I've got an even balance. Just a tad of that. And then a little of that. Usually use like a half a pump each. So then I start with my nose to blend it because I don't like touching it. So it really mixes the two colors together. I know that's so ghetto. And then I just tap it all over my face until I have it evenly distributed. And I seem like a brush better than a beauty blender sometimes too. What's your favorite? Comment below, do you use a beauty blender or do you use a, um, a blending brush? I love the smell of this um, BH Cosmetics foundation too. The smell is like baby powders. It's really soft, pleasant scent. So you can see now how the look has come together. When at first I looked like some dead carcass that a fox drug in. So now I'm just going to go in with the BH Studio Pro. This found, I mean this pressed powder here. A lot of people say it's like a dupe to the MAC powder, but I don't know because, I mean, MAC is really more than I want to spend on makeup sometimes. I mean, that's up to anyone that has that preference, you know? It just depends. And to use this powder, I use this one. Uh, I know this is more of a foundation brush, but to me, I find it so much easier to just pack it like when you have wrinkles or creases so your makeup does not move through the day. I mean it takes a little bit more time applying but it's so worth it and it's really soft. Smooth even layer as well too. These brushes I mean there's just really nothing to complain about with these brushes. They are on point. Now on with the eyeliner and the mascara and I'm just going to line my top lid first like a really thin line to start with. Man, it's so hard to talk while you're doing it because you're like, if you mess up, it's going to mess your whole eyeshadow up and then you got to start all over again. So I'm going to wing it out to the side a little. Now we're going to move on to the lips and then I'm going to show you the look uh, after I fix my hair. 
Okay, so that now that my eyes are so dramatic, I'm going to go with a super light lipstick. This one has been drugged through the mud, pretty much. It's the uh, unique uh, well-to-do, is what it is. I've used the shit out of it, but I hate how you have to apply it so much. It's just a super, like, shimmer nude lipstick. I mean, it's usually off by the time I get out the house. And I was going to be trying this stuff called Lip Sense. You put it on your lips like three times. And you, um, you're supposed to wear it with gloss and stuff. And it's supposed to last like 16, 18 hours, something crazy like that. So I am got it on the way now. Um, but you'll see that video soon, as soon as I try that out. Because I have been looking for a lipstick that won't come off. And that's why I usually don't wear lipstick. I mean, what do you guys use? I need some tips and stuff from you guys as well, too. I would love to hear the different things, um, tips and stuff you have. Because, I mean, I, there's always something to learn in the glam beauty community, you know. Make sure that you join my group so you can give me those tips and tricks that you use. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go do my hair, and I'll be right back and show you the completed look. Okay, so this is the finished look. As you can see is now the power of makeup. So guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next video. Bye.